Hello, this is Katya here. Um, today I have a tutorial that, where I will show you the C6 scoreboard to making my own art journal. Also using Finabar tissue paper music app. Uh, this is tutorial is made for designing papers. Okay, let's start. Uh, I have a paper, uh, uh, stone paper or something like that in my journal. And I start with this tissue paper from Finnabar uh, Prima. And I would add it uh, as my uh, first layer to add some pattern to my paper. Uh, to glue it, I use uh, Finna Bear's Prima Soft Matte Gel. So I uh, brush it on the paper all over it and carefully add it uh, and also use a soft matte gel on top of it. And you see, I tear it off a little bit here. Uh, you can use it uh, all over the paper flat. Uh, but I like the brown edges on the music paper or mu musica paper. So I will add the pieces also to showing you that you ne don't, doesn't need the whole papers. You can add piece of papers. So I like the brown edges, uh, even if I uh, it doesn't will really show because I haven't used it in my big shot yet um, to die cut it. So I'm uh, adding it and uh, so it will uh, stay there. So I add uh, more layers a little bit carefully because it's the music paper will easily tear off. Okay, when it's dry, I will uh, use my uh, Excel die uh, in my um, die cutting machine, and my I am using uh, the Sisic Big Shot, uh, and it's perfect for this size of uh, dies. Okay, you see me here having. Uh, the exact size right now and now I'm doing the inside of uh, that. So here you have the exact size uh, of the journal. So it's a smaller size, a pocket size. Uh, I really enjoy it. I think it could be perfect for traveling, journaling or taking notes in. Um, and be sure, if you like the video, to give the thumbs up. And uh, if you like my videos, be sure to subscribe. It helps me to make more videos. Uh, and uh, please uh, write in the comments if you uh, want to ask something or you have th something you want to ask about. Okay. Now I'm using a little bit uh, white uh, gesso uh, in the middle of the journal. Uh, I want to make it uh, more soft there in the middle to make like a shadow in the middle. And I want to create the edges more dark. So that's why. And you see me here tapping with a baby wipe and I'm drying also. Uh, to have the shadowing a uh, little bit more shady effect. And I'm doing that in the inside. Uh, you see me here having the tissue paper, not all over the journal, a uh, little bit here and there. And to make uh, the edges doesn't look so much, so I'm adding uh, gesso there. Also, I'm adding gesso because I will uh, use paint over my music paper, so it uh, will flow very good. Okay, here I have some stamps, old paperwork. Uh, I call them like a background stamp uh, because it, uh, I only want the pattern, 
So I'm sure to add some pattern on the white spaces. And I also have some uh, small ink pads from Ranger in brown and a green shade to match the music paper. And you see me here stamping randomly only to make a, a background stamp. And also in the front page, I stamping randomly and on the front page and stamping more on the edges. Okay, and uh, before I will add some paint, I will dry it a little bit, so I'm sure it will uh, stay around good. Okay, already looks interesting for me, I think. What do you think? Now I am um, will have some paint. I use uh, shades in green and yellow and emerald from uh, Finnabare Prima, the liquid acrylic paint. And if you have watched my previous videos, you know that's my new favorite paints because they are so easy to play with. I simply have some few drops on my pencil and I have a spray bottle with water and I spray and then I can play around with the color. Uh, it's so easy to do this kind of projects and uh, and where I have a little bit too much paint, I have the baby wipe to uh, wipe it off uh, if I think it go in the wrong direction. And you see me here, I add the emerald and I'm doing the same. Only thing it's important that you let the two colors uh, dry between. I'm a little bit, uh, have not so much patience, so where I get failed because I'm not uh, so good at drying between. I really think, I really want the work to go fast, so be sure to dry between the layers. And don't do the same mistake I do. Okay, and now I will work on the edges. I do principally the same and I have a paper in the background to not uh, destroy my craft mat uh, completely. I try to work like that. Like that. And you see me, I add uh, with a, a, a brush only on the edges, also working uh, with the pencil or the brush directly from the bottle because I want the brown to be pretty intense uh, so it get like a shadow and you see me tapping on the edges uh, the burnt sienna is perfect for this brown uh, in the collection there are also one color named amber and it's not so brown it's more greenish beige or something and you can also use that one but I like this burnt sienna it's really brown and you see me here I take uh, with the pencil from uh, my bottle and uh, do some uh, dots and you and now I have made the inside I have take three four papers I use Sheena Douglas stamping paper and this is the most tricky part. That's because I'm not the exactly one person uh, to uh, use a craft knife and have the edges perfect. Uh, this is not my kind of stuff, but to have a great journal if you want to have the pages and I have used my sewing machine uh, in the middle to take them apart. You don't need to do that because I have many journals, the, the pages where they are, just like that. Here I have a little bit burlap uh, and I use Finnabare 3D material uh, and I add it to the burlap 
and simply I want it in the middle of my journal. I want to keep it pretty simple, but some decoration uh, I like to have on it. So you see, I tap on it and some of the 3D gel that go to the burlap, uh, burlap I use uh, the baby wipe. And you see me here struggle with my bottle. Uh, you know that you can have um, the liquid acrylic paint with water in a spray bottle, but it was a bad uh, bottle of something. It didn't work like I wanted. So I end up with a new bottle with only water. And uh, I use uh, color on my pencil or brush, perhaps I think it's the right word. And you see me here working. It works fine for me. Uh, I use a few drops of paint and uh, with the water bottle, I'm spraying around to get the, it flow. When it's dry, I have some uh, white heavy gesso and I do some dry brushing to get give the it more um, dark look in the burlap. So I'm playing around, and now you see me working with the burnt sienna again around the edges, and I really want it in the edges, so I'm using my finger to get it. Uh, the liquid acrylic paint stick a little bit to your hands but uh, it will uh, go off the day after it will stay off uh, I don't mind having colors on um, or paint on my fingers it doesn't disturb me uh, when you wash your hands the day after or take a shower it will uh, get off Okay, you see me working on the edges. It works. Uh, it will have a little bit vintage look. And these uh, labels from Finnabar, metallic plates, uh, they are just gorgeous with different sentiments. Uh, and I glue it with the 3D matte gel. Okay, I have some mini hardware and I will add it on the edges on the old plate. Uh, and be sure to dry this well before you go further. Um, now I have some sparks colors. I want to give a, a little bit shine, shine here on the burlap. So a little bit uh, on the brush, only of the sparks, it's a golden shine and the sparks color really, really get shiny and I add only a little bit and I'm sure to spray it with the water because then it get this extra fine and special shine and I just love it when you add uh, water on the sparks color, it's so amazing. Uh, so it's defined, it's very fine uh, detail. Now I add two layers of um, wax on that uh, and only light handed so it uh, doesn't go inside the burlap also on the edges and here I use a color Firebird, and it's really one of favorite. Uh, who to believe that the orange uh, wax can be one of my favorite? But yes, it is. It's so gorgeous and shiny. Uh, a little bit of the copper, but uh, orange. So Firebird, it's one of my favorite. And to give it extra dim dimension. I add some white gold and the white gold it's a perfect uh, must-have color I think because it's match 
uh, both in the silver project and in the gold project. And here I have some elastic string and um, it's so easy for me, difficult for me to explain how I attach it. But you see, I start from the outside and the, how it go around my, um, my journal. And then I work it on the inside. And there, I think there are so many ways to attach these strings. Depends how you want to use it. And this is one way. Uh, and I'm so so sure you can do it on other different ways. Uh, so this tutorial should be more on the mixed media, more than how do you attach the strings. And I'm so sure if you Google or look for it on YouTube, you find better tutorials how you add the string than mine. I like to play with colors and paint and uh, this perfect uh, things with craft knives and uh, this kind of things is not my way. But anyway, I get it to work for me and I have uh, strings that work for me and I can keep my small journal books and you see I have four strings uh, in the inside. So I can have four books and perfect to you work with them. And my journal is ready. You see, it works fine for my four books. And I love these journals because you can have the outside for a long time and change your books wherever you go to take notes. And if you're not happy with one of the books, it's so easy to pick them out. I'm really happy about my journal and I hope you like my tutorial and uh, I am happy that you was here so hope you see you soon again and hope to see you soon again in the next tutorial bye bye and please leave a, leave a comment see you bye bye